back. So that's one. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look Focus around fuck. at the rest of my inventory. I got broke, broke. I can't afford shit. Oh, you can sell stuff. Black weather bugs. I don't think I need that. I should put that on. Yeah. And the hat I'm not gonna use. Yeah. I still don't think I have enough. Must be something. Oh, there it is. Revelio. Fucking. Accio. Oh, I got it. I didn't even look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Yeah, I wanna see if I should sell this. No. no. See if I uh, put my other stuff on. I 
there's a way to lock this. So I don't want to keep changing each time. Yeah, I don't want to keep changing stuff each time I find new gear. Let's look at what we have, shall we? I don't need that, I don't think, anytime soon, so. Rebellion. Rebellion. I should imagine you always have room for it. You'd think knowing spells is simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Rebellion. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> uh, you'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yeah, let's. What can I do for you today? Feel free.
free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Just level up to level six. On another adventure, are we? Oh, yeah. Of the animals. Well, hello there. <laughs> Rebellion. to start looking stupid. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Mm. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? 
Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Well, you can kind of just sell. Cool. Thank you, good sir. Revelio. <gasps> what the fuck, man? Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deer all around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I hope he wasn't talking to me. Oh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Huh. Finally, I'll have enough for that wind whistle. Ah, well, not meant to be. Revelio. Oh shit. Look at me go. What are you up to now? Um oh, ever doing stuff. What is that? What do if you eat too much. Oh god, oh god. Revelio. Accio. Oh, 
Square cut a lot more than that. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Goodness, a second troll. Yep. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's fix that settings. Star Wars. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Hey, they didn't hit the candy shop. Was a singer to worry about. Oh, they were pretty close to me. Prepare her. Open. Yes. Wizard. 
Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. He should. Rebellion. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Sure, I'll, I'll take Thank it. Thank you, Fuck Mr. It. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? This guy gives me... No, I don't want to equip it. This guy gave me... Shit. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Let me put that. I want to put those. Uh...
this? Rooms. I just want to... Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Isn't this the one he just gave me? Pretty sure. He might be mad. Never mind, we go. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. They see us. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with... Are, uh, uh, What's oh, time, man? My guy looks fucking like he shit himself. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Yeah, gang, gang. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Bring it, bitch. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Yeah, they can't watch me. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? Well, I, I promise to tell you. you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. What is this at the bottom? Where my health is, and then above that. Is that for the... I want to go get those papers. Uh, 
I'm certainly glad Serona was there. That was rude. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Some more papers. I'm back. Look at my drip. It's the morning. Come see me, I've discovered something in the locker we found out. Okay. A plot thicken. I think I'm gonna do one more and then call it. But yeah. Go see what this kind of works. Revelio. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Revelio. Oh shit, son. Oh, uh, I want one. Revelio. Voices. I'm very concerned. Huh. What is this? Revelio.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Oh, fuck you now. Revelio. 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 Now it's like supposed to be like that ghost girl in here. Uh, what the fuck? Revelio. Your voices sometimes when I do that. There is something up there. The fuck is that? chest up in here. Revelio. To steal this. Revelio. No. No. Okay. Oh, there he is. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No. I dare I say, after what happened to that poor banker, the, goblin. the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. yes. I yes. discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. 
It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, <laughs> and really... I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll okay. let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Rebellion. Ooh. Dark arcs. Nope. I swear to God, he's trying to use that. Here. Like, I should come back to this another time. Yeah, yeah. Like, I swear, I hear voices. Oh God, I'm not sure if that means that. I'm not ready or but, but Rebellion. But like Sometimes it's like way more intense than what it needs to be. See, there's this thing right here. I want us to find out what it is, and I think it's down. Off on another adventure, are we? Okay. Yeah, I think it's down. Oh, it doesn't. I'm gonna go down. Wondered how owls know where to live in Adam. Rebellion. Help me with my sad predicament. Uh, Rebellion. I would like to find out what that is. That bitch is burned. <gasps> Might some kind soul help me? No. Is that all that was? Did all that work? 
Everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Does not sound fun. Gobstones? I am interested, though. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault no. for losing. Why would they be so mad? How dare they? Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Hmm. What the fuck? Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. No oh, thanks. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Oh, Whoever okay. hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. <laughs> Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Yeah. Uh... I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Feel like I just fucking. Oh man. Look, I just. It's like the feather thing from Assassin's Creed. Oh. I want to at least go get one. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. That's where we're going, my friend. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Akio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Well, since I'm here, I might as well go up. Oh, damn, she scared me. Divination class. Oh. Rebellion!
This area. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's hey, gobstones. Hey, hey, hey. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Serpent two plus that two plus three five four kill the serpent. Who the fuck is that? Lumos. Serpent plus two. Serpent is three. Serpent plus two. Three is four. It's a fucking hell. Hit that one. Yeah, see? I'm skipping that. There's two. Oh, this one's gonna be fucking difficult. Lumos. Um, let's do this one. Crab. Uh, let's not do that one. Owl. An owl. Um, owl plus thirteen. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Four plus it's one unicorn. Thirteen minus eighteen years. It's five. The crab. Crab. Yeah. G. 
genius. Revelio. Six plus the crab. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 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 eight. First try. Cool. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end it there. I've done a lot of these. Let me also. Guess you can attack owls. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? The fuck is that? Oh my god. More side missions. Okay, anyways. I'm gonna definitely end it there. Thanks for watching. I've been playing for two hours.
get a one. Yeah, sure. 